Russians are going to celebrate the Independence Day of Ukraine even more than Ukrainians are going to do that. The amount of warnings about possible provocations is growing every hour. And one of the most significant ones is possible provocations on the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Head of the Russian so-called radiation, chemical and biological defense Igor Kirillov declared that he might stop the Zaporizhia NPP. What he calls the reason is some mythical shells of the Ukrainian army, but no satellite or any other evidences of that. Only reports in Russian propagandist media. He's talking about the cold shutdown of the 5th and 6th power units. The problem is that in case of shutdown, these units cannot be used for cooling of the fuel. That's gonna bring Europe closer to the nuclear catastrophe. But to understand that, one should have higher education, not just shoulder straps. Another direct threat by Russians is the announcement of something that might happen on Friday 19th. They blame Ukrainian army in advance, but it's already obvious who's threatening. Russian occupiers seized the Zaporizhia NPP on 4th of March and since then risked millions of lives shelling and exploding the facilities and blaming Ukraine when Ukrainian army comes closer and closer. After precise hit on ammunition depots in the surroundings, Russians hide their military vehicles and weapons on the territory of NPP, as this is the only place that Ukrainians won't attack due to the high risk. The cynicism of the occupiers is that when when Ukrainian authorities call for evacuation because of all these warnings, Russians close the evacuation corridors, while the Europe's sleeping tight. Some countries just verify that wind will not bring them the radiation, most likely, probably, and the wind most likely blow in the direction of Donetsk and Crimea probably. But their own losses do not bother elderly communist generals. More evidences of the prepared provocations in the intercepted calls by Russian occupiers. In one of them, the so-called soldier agrees that most likely they will all stay. Twenty-fourth of August is also under high risk of rocket attacks from the territory of Belarus, where earlier Russians collected large amounts of rockets. Meanwhile, terrorist state Russia kills civilian Ukrainians without any date, shelling residential districts killing children and seniors and demanding peace talks.